What is up, everybody? Welcome back to RaceNews.com, and welcome back to another one of our uh, top five horses and training video. We'll go through five of them now, uh, and we'll see what changes leading up to the Breeders' Cup, and then what changes after as we do this each and every week. Number five on the list this week, Elite Power. Uh, the sprinter did see a long winning streak come to an end last time out in the forego. Beat by Gunite, you know, a horse that he has defeated a couple times this year. It's kind of turned into a rivalry. It's very fun to watch these two run, but, you know, I still give Elite Power the edge with the, you know, caveat that, hey, if Gunite can beat him again, then Gunite will pass him. But right now, Elite Power, number five for me. Number four, Echo Zulu. I think she's clearly the top sprinter uh, as far as the females go in the country. I don't know. Maybe she's a top sprinter, sprinter, period, after that race in the ballerina at Saratoga. She was fantastic. So Echo Zulu, number four for me, she kind of looked like a monster in that last race. Number three, Cody's Wish, definitely a monster at a mile. Not so much stretching out. Was not good uh, stretching out last time out in the Whitney, but the resume is still really good for Cody's Wish. He's going to go back to a mile. If he kind of returns to that kind of form, maybe he can move up the list. Number two, kind of in a holding period right now, up to the mark. This horse is injured. I don't think this horse will be at the Breeders' Cup. Uh, but, you know, back-to-back -back grade one wins on the turf looked really, really good. And then Manhattan was one of the toughest races of the year, whether you're talking turf or dirt. And up to the mark was able to win it easily. So he deserves to be number two. But like I said, he's, you know, waiting to get past basically at this point as he's not going to be able to build that resume anymore this year. At least that's my speculation. I don't know that for sure. But no works. Haven't really heard anything about him. So that's not a good sign. Finally, number one is Archangelo. You know, this, this horse has put together three straight really nice wins in a row. Well, he's won four in a row, but three straight stakes races in a row. The Peter Pan, a, a really good race at Belmont. He was able to win. He parlayed that into a win in the Belmont stakes itself. And then last time out, a nice win in the Traverse. So Archangelo putting that winning streak together, that's uh, something a lot of horses have not been able to do this year. He's been able to do it. He's probably going to be the horse of the year if he wins the Classic, but that's a big if. The Classic is uh, another uh, monster altogether that he has to tackle. But for now, Archangelo, number one. All right, review the list. <clears throat> number five, Elite Power. Number four, Echo Zulu. Number three, Cody's Wish. Number two, Up to the Mark. And number one, Archangelo. All right, guys, that'll do it for this, uh, this week's uh, Top 5 Horses in Training video. Hit that like button if you like it. Hit subscribe if you really like it. Want to get alerted anytime we do videos like this. And we'll see you next week for an updated top five. RacingNews.com is your home for the best free picks for every race, every track. Summer's here. Our picks are heating up. We want you to join us in the fun. Subscribe to the Racing Dudes YouTube channel right now. Click the notification bell. You don't want to miss a single one of our awesome videos. Want to make money betting horses? Bet with the Racing Dudes.